to my channel. Today we are going to be filming a makeup tutorial, which I have not done in a super, super long time. But today I just kind of decided it was time. So I'm going to be showing y'all a look that I have been doing a lot lately. Um, this weekend I actually went out twice in a row. What? Me twice in a row. And I ended up wearing makeup those two days in a row again what because i do not put makeup on every day um i don't think this this is kind of gonna be like a talk through kind of sped up but right now i'm using the super slim um absolute new york brow pencil in smoke this is from the beauty supply store it's super good and i think it's about five dollars but y'all i don't do my makeup at all like my life is literally work school sleep i barely even go out anymore like this weekend was my first time going out in so long and yeah i just haven't been out in a very very long time i haven't done my makeup in a long time i haven't filmed a video in a long time like i just i don't know like life is really starting to consume me like i feel like there is no time for anything I like to do. I mean, I like my job, I like making wigs, and I like doing makeup, but like, y'all know what I mean when I say things you wanna do versus things you have to do. Y'all, normally I would've put contacts on for this video, cause every time I film a makeup video, I try to wear contacts so I don't have to have this camera, I mean, this mirror all up in my grill, but I only do that when it's the middle of the day. And baby girl, it, it's six o'clock right now. It's in my B Simone voice. I know her doing that voice. It, it has to, it has to do something to her throat. I don't even wear my contacts like that because I like my glasses. I don't have time to be putting no contacts in every day, so I don't wear them. I'm being so lazy right now. Like I don't ever just do it out of the tube, but I don't care right now. I'm not spending that much money on my contacts. I'm, I'm not spending that much so I can be able to see. Do you know how selfish that is? That I gotta pay to see? I can't even wake up and see? Like, that don't even make, bro, that don't even make sense. Like I have to, I have to pay so I can see. This is, this is fraud. I honestly never even thought about that. Like, I just think that is so bogus. Why do I have to pay so I can be able to see? So I can go about my daily life. I'm using a, um, I use my foundation at the top. And then I use a lighter concealer at the bottom. The concealer is to highlight and also to, um, as a use as a base for eyeshadow and the reason i have been doing this look so much is because i really only have one makeup palette at the moment or like i do but i don't i only have one that i use and it is this one this morphe 9c jewel crew palette and let me tell you about morphe okay morphe is that bitch right now like to me and it makes me so mad that it took me this long to notice but Morphe is really like slowly but surely becoming one of my favorite brands. Um, every time I go into Ulta, which by the way, I love the fact that they even carry Morphe now. They've been carrying it for a couple months, but still. Um, every time I go in there, I find something new from them. Like, or something, not even new, just something I never noticed before. And I'm like, hmm, let me try this today. I don't know if y'all use morphe or go to ulta but their prices are amazing they are super moderately priced from their brushes to their products this palette was only 12 dollars, i believe the ones that come with nine shades are 12 dollars. yeah so go try anything morphe because it's probably going to be good i have a lot more things to try but i'm loving them lately um, so I'm going to go in with Stone Fox. It is just a orange shade. And I'm just going to put that on. This is like my... And this is how you know I really don't do my makeup anymore. Because I didn't forgot all the words. I think this is a transition shade. Yeah, it's a transition shade. I trans Transition. I can't talk with these braces. Transition shade. 
Um, and I'm just gonna put that all up here. It's a nice orange. And this is so crazy that I really have not been doing makeup or my channel is really not makeup based. My channel is mostly wigs and hair things. Um, and the crazy thing is when I was like a kid, when I was like 11 and I would sit up and watch YouTube videos, I always knew I wanted to do YouTube. Always. I loved it. I used to sit in my room and watch videos all day. Um, even when I was a kid doing all that, I always, always thought that I would be a makeup. I thought I was going to be giving y'all James Charles, Nikki Tutorials, Mac Barbie 07, baby. I thought I was going to be giving y'all all of that. I thought I was going to be giving looks. I thought I was going to be getting PR packages and doing... No, baby, no. No, baby, no. And I'm so glad that, like, I really figured out that I am not that person. Um, I really will always love makeup. I, I love doing my makeup, but I don't have the time. Like, I don't know if y'all noticed, but them coming up with all those looks and trying out all this different stuff and filming them, making them perfect, taking the pictures, doing new and innovative stuff for other people so they will have a reason to watch your video. Because there's a million and one YouTube beauty gurus on here. Hell, it's a million and one wig videos and stuff on YouTube, but you have to bring that, you have to bring it for people to want to watch you. And I felt like, like looking at all that different stuff and I'm thinking to myself like, can I do this? Can I think of different looks and sit down here and do my makeup five times a day and take this off and re-record something else? No, baby. Nuh-uh, baby. No, not me. And I'm so glad that I redirected myself and like opened myself up to something different with the wigs. I love my videos. I love what I do. I love ordering wigs, trying them out, fixing them up. And I don't know. I just love it. So now I'm going to take Rock Out. And it's basically like another orange shade, but it's a little bit darker. So I'm going to take that and blend, blend that underneath. And um, actually, just so y'all know, all of the eyeshadows I'm using today are coming out of this palette because I feel like tutorials are so much easier when you have one palette. Nobody has eight different palettes, okay? If you tell me to buy this one, I can follow along with you and I can see what I'm going to do, okay? And so that's what we're doing. Um, we just built up this nice little orange base. It's so cute. And Morphe shadows blend so well I love their shadow and I've been using one brush I've been using the Morphe M441 I really don't have that many brushes either I'm so not a makeup girl like I have like eight brushes y'all now what we're gonna do is we're going to take rich girl and it's a really really nice purple color and I'm gonna take that purple and I'm gonna put that right like where I put the deeper orange just in my crease and I'm gonna blend that out Um, my hair right now, I have it in Marley Twist, which if you don't know what Marley Twists are, they're basically like any two-strand twist to Senegalese twist, but I use Marley hair, which is the um, puffier kind of hair. And I use this because I've actually been working out a lot lately. Well, not a lot lately, but I was working out. I stopped. I'm starting again next week. Um because i actually lost 16 pounds since september y'all i've been trying to get look i've been trying to get my life right dad yeah. i got a ticket for what no proof of insurance but he pulled me over because i was speeding because i had to pee so yeah like i said going in with that chocolate brown color so what I do is I take a little bit of concealer and I dab it on there and then I kind of like let it get dry a little bit and I take a brush and I like pat it out like it's kind of sort of at the end it ends up looking like I cut my crease but not really like it's a more so of a blended out like natural looking cut crease so the last thing I'm gonna do is or on my eyelids is I'm going to take there are three sparkly like lid shades in here um and the one I've been using mostly is rose quartz my biggest fear right now is getting um foundation on this jacket because this jacket I don't know if y'all have ever 
I don't know if I've ever seen like this style of jacket, but they have really been popular this what winter and fall. And I've been wanting one so bad. And this girl was like, oh, I got mine from Victoria's Secret. Well, I, I didn't know how much it was. So I like went in the store. This sweater is like $40. I can't see myself paying that much for it. Um, so I got mine from Walmart. <laughs> And it's literally the same. It's super nice, super comfy. Yes, I know my neck is lighter than my face. Um, for the sake of this look, I really don't feel like blending this all the way down because that's a waste of product. Because like I just told y'all, this is coming right off. Um, and so I'm not going to blend it down too much. And I know this looks like super dark. I probably look really orange, but this is the color I have to use. Cause after all the setting done and I highlight and contour, it'll look better. But it's like I have an issue with every every foundation looking super super light on me. Um, and then I just look washed out when I take pictures. Every time I take pictures, I look like white face like so i'm using my shape tape in tan deep honey my uh foundation was the maybelline fit me in 334 i believe um i'm gonna just go ahead and highlight my highlight areas and then i usually let that sit tip from Jackie Ina. If you let it sit and like melt into your skin, it will give you a way more flawless like blend out. Cause if you blend it while it's wet, it's kind of like all the product is literally going into your brush. I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Conceal. I'm just gonna do a little bit of cream contouring. I have been liking to do this lately. Um, I used to hate cream contour cause it's just, it just seemed like too much work. Um, not even seem like too much work it was too much work um but lately your girl has been doing it um, okay so i let that sit in a little bit now i'm gonna blend it out um yes my beauty blender is a little bit dirty okay makeup gods take me now if you have to honestly i've been ready to go for a minute I'm going to first um, carve out the sides of my highlight. I love doing this. I love like the after effect and everything. Okay, then I'm gonna set my no or highlight my nose, bake my nose, whatever. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna just go a little bit under here and pat it in and leave it at that. Um, I guess my chin. Now I'm going in with my black radiance um pressed powder, bronzer, whatever in rich mahogany. And I'm just gonna go over that contour I had and just set that. Um, I'm just gonna take some of my Wet n Wild blush in pearlescent pink. I think that's what it's called. I'm just gonna add that to my cheekbones. I used to like not believe in blush. Like I was like, what is the point of blush? Why do people use blush? Girl, I love me some blush now. And then I, I'm gonna wipe my highlight points or powder off. That should be good. Yes, yes. And if y'all know me, y'all know I don't, I do not go for lip colors like that i don't do lipstick that much um and i actually really really love this lip liner it's a nyx um slide on glide on stay on and definitely a turn on why is this title so long waterproof extreme color lip liner it's really really this good uh it is and i love it 
So I just used this a little bit. I really don't use that much. No lipstick, just gloss and lip liner. And we are done. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I've been wearing this look a lot lately. Um, I don't know why I just, or I said I do know why, because I only got one palette. But I really love this look on me. Ooh, I look dark. Wait a minute so i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you want to see more or less makeup videos and also let me know if you would like a tutorial on how i did my marley twist on my own so you can do them on yourself and i will see you guys in my next video bye